Good afternoon, everybody. This is Father Rob. Welcome back. We gather together every time, this 3 o'clock time, to celebrate the Rosary, to pray for our world, to pray for our families, to pray and offer our own intentions, except for Friday when we celebrate at the same time the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. So again, welcome back to all those who are returning to join us in prayer. And again, I want to welcome anybody who's new. If you just happen to be passing through, um, just finding out what's going on, we welcome you back. And I hope that you can continue to be with us and also to like the page as well and to check out what's going on in the Tiffany of Mary. Um, although I will say, admittedly, during the summer, things start slowing down a bit. So, uh, but welcome all those who are here today. So on this Wednesday uh, of this season of ordinary time, because now we're back officially, we're in between the Feast of the Holy Trinity and this Sunday will be Corpus Christi. And I want to have a little strange title at the page for today. We're talking about the martyrs of the hulks of Roquefort. And you're saying, isn't that a cheese? And the answer is actually that is a, a cheese. It's from France, uh, specifically from that region. And uh, the Martyrs is really sort of a, a, a broad gathering of priests, specifically. There were so many of them that were martyred for the faith. And uh, this took place during the French Revolution, which took, was about 1789, 1790. It went on for a couple of years until it, depending on how you view history, kind of ended really more like 1794, 95. And then Napoleon took power. But... I want to back that up just a little bit for now. <clears throat> so about 1790, what the, the clergy in France, priests like myself, were asked to um, make a write a statement saying that they were obedient to the Constitution of France, which on the surface sounds okay, but when you kind of read the lines a little further, that it also meant that you would disavow your allegiance, your authority to the Holy Father. Well, that's problematic for any Catholic priest. It's like a, a priest saying, I don't, I'm not with the Pope anymore. You can't say that. You know, that you're saying that his authority doesn't make any difference. Whether it's his spiritual authority, or in those days also, the Pope had temporal authority as he was the ruler of a nation state, meaning the papal states in central Italy at that time. So a lot of priests were in, a hard, were in between a rock and a hard place there. They wanted to be faithful to their country, but at the same time, the country was asking way too much of them in saying that I'm just writing off my allegiance to the Holy Father, and many of them could not do that in good conscience, and so they said, we're not signing this document. So many of them were arrested, and actually many of them were scheduled to be shipped out and exiled to a, uh, one of their colonies in South America called French Guiana, which is kind of near Venezuela in the South America. Well, the reason why we have this little title is that many of these priests were either in France itself, or probably more likely when the ship got over to Guyana, that they, the authorities just simply let the priests, it, the ship became a prison, and that was not uncommon in those days, uh, for prisons were building them were expensive, and the state didn't have all that kind of money to jail everybody, like today. And so it was not uncommon, just as a revolutionary war, when many uh, American prisoners of war were kept on British ships, where many of them just simply died from neglect. The same thing happened to priests, where many of them were neglected, very little food was given to them, and many of them just simply died of disease or starvation as a result of that. So there are many priests about roughly about the year 1790, 91, about there, where many of them who were exiled were, well, they were, but they weren't really released either into the colony and there, that many of them uh, were martyred for their faith in, in Jesus. Uh, some might say, well, that's just because they didn't want to serve France, but quite honestly, it was beneath all of that, the French Revolution, there was a great undercurrent of anti-clerical resentment, and in some quarters, hatred towards the Catholic Church. So many of them were, were martyred. I think about that today because, uh, after reading that, of the reading that was the first reading for today at Mass, in the liturgy, regarding the ability to, to pick a side. And God, whenever we have, whenever we're, called to follow the Lord, there is a choice that we have to make all the time, whether we say yes to God or no. Now, this is not just a, a one-off, because for some of our brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, there is the theology that uh, salvation is a one-time event where you say, I give my life to Jesus, and you say a sinner's prayer, and then you're saved, and that's it. Uh, that's becoming less and less of an acceptable theology, but that is, still does exist in uh, some of our Christian communities. As Catholics now, just speaking in that, as Catholics, that 
conversion and saying yes to Christ is not only an everyday event that we need to do, but also is an affirmation of the Lord daily and more than once daily, saying, there's a song that was sung, um, I, don't, um, I don't know who wrote it, I've heard several prominent Christian artists who have sung it, saying, I will choose Christ. And that's what we kind of need to do as Christians every day, is that we, as Catholics, have to say, I choose Christ. I choose Christ in how I spend my money. I choose Christ in terms of how I treat my neighbor. I choose Christ in terms of what's my reaction going to be with uh, all that's going on. In other words, am I going to be letting the anger boil in my soul, or am I going to instead maybe allow my anger to be turned into a positive force so that not only, number one, I give it to God, but on number two, that I use it for something positive, such as helping my family out if there's difficulties, maybe helping my neighbor, maybe helping the poor, uh, but doing something positive in that way, and all this sea of negativity. The one thing that God does not want, and this is from the book of Revelation, is that God does not desire the lukewarm. And I forget the chapter, forgive me, off the top of my head where that is. But it's in the book of Revelation, Jesus says, I, I wish someone was either hot or cold, and I'm paraphrasing the Lord in Revelation, uh, I wish that they were one or the other for the lukewarm I spit out of my mouth. Maybe somebody can look up for that for me in the comments and find out what chapter that is in Revelation. But what Jesus was saying in the book of Revelation, now going back to the first reading today, is that we are compelled to make a choice. Unlike the Israelites, their big problem was just simply, they sat on the sidelines. The prophet Elijah said, is God, the God of Israel, is he God? Or is the, the, these gods, these idols, the Baals, the, these Syrio-Phoenician gods that King Ahab had brought into the northern kingdom of Israel for the people to worship, are they God? Which is it? And Elijah asked this question pointedly to the crowds, huge crowds that were there on Mount Carmel, and it didn't answer him. Nobody wanted to give an answer. Which means what? You know, that's a very interesting question. That's even another subject altogether. But maybe either A, people just are, were different, and that's a great big possibility. Uh, not knowing the souls of all those people there, of course. Uh, they didn't take God very seriously. I think that's, that's something we can take into account. Maybe B, they were afraid to answer the question because maybe they were afraid that they were going to be arrested or killed like many of the other prophets of, of the Lord. As Elijah said, I'm the last one. And maybe there were people who were saying, I don't want to be like that and end up with my life being taken away from me. So that is also a possibility. But if we really love Jesus, that, that our faith compels a choice. That's why we can't sit on the sidelines at some point. We have to say in our way every day to Christ, I choose Christ. I choose. God has already chosen us. The question is, do we choose him? Okay. So in faith, God has chosen us already. Now the question is, do we choose Christ? And those priests uh, in France uh, very clearly said, I choose Christ. I will not turn my back on my faith, on, on the belief that Jesus has given us uh, the successor of Peter to guide our church. I will not disobey someone which Jesus has given authority on earth to be our vicar. They said, uh, I, we will choose to follow the Holy Father, the Pope, the successor of Peter versus telling us what the state will do. Um, very difficult decision to make and not, and not easy, probably especially in light of what uh, just, I just shared with you. But let's pray that we may have every day the strength to say yes to Christ every single day. We need to do that every day in our lives and make a conscientious decision to do just that. Not just in my intellect, but also in my heart with our wills are like to Christ. So, that's a reflection for today. Now on to the rosary. So this afternoon we pray the, uh, grab my rosary here, hopefully you have yours with you, and to pray uh, the glorious mysteries today, being Wednesday, and to pray for all of your intentions. I have some in my personal life to offer today. Uh, please just simply, again, just li list those below what you'd like to pray for, for people who are suffering, maybe people who have lost a loved one, for people who have, uh, Maybe lost a job. Maybe someone who is, uh, has a serious disease such as, God forbid, COVID or is uh, suffering from cancer or whatever um, things you have. And there are many of them out there. Uh, we offer them and we lift them up to the Lord today on this Wednesday. So let us begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and of earth. 
and that Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. For there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase of the theological virtues of faith, of hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries in the Most Holy Rosary. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second mystery of our faith is the ascension of our Lord Jesus into <clears throat> heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blesses the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, 
Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, <clears throat> Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third mystery of our faith is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Our Lady and the Apostles. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed... <clears throat> is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, bid all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of Our Lady's body and soul into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of our Mother as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry and prevent us children of Eve, and to thee do we send up our sighs, our mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, that eyes of mercy towards us. After this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, and before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. St. John Paul II, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. Our Lady, and tire of not, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So just a reminder again that tomorrow that uh, we will celebrate Mass at its normal time at 8.15 a.m. live streamed here. I think we've got our, hopefully, our, uh, our technical issues out of the way, at least for now. And uh, we will pray the rosary again here tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So always remember that Our Lady loves you, the Lord Jesus loves you. God bless you all today, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.